What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. Uh, it's President's Day. We're gonna do a hit up a couple of thrift stores, and then I got a uh, local Facebook deal I'm doing. I'm buying some uh, Zelda amiibos. So I got meeting him at like four o'clock, and it's about two right now. So hopefully hit up a couple of thrift stores out that way, and then uh, pick those up and uh, see what we can come up with. Let's go. Hey guys, this is crazy, man. I've been going, I've went through this thrift store since I was a kid. It's over there, it's Valley Thrift. We are behind the shopping center and there's a St. Vincent de Paul sign. There's a little St. Vincent de Paul here in Valley Thrift over there. There's so many people here that they have the, uh, here. They have their entrances blocked off so you can't even get in. It's crazy. What the hell? I better be giving stuff away in the thrift store today. I wouldn't even bother if I had this one close to my house. I'll fall down there. Oh my god. Gotta go through tree branches and everything, boy. Is this your idea? Go. That's what I I don't like little pokey stuff. Yeah. Like they have a huge, huge parking lot here. You can't even yeah, get in here. Nuts. Walk up here, bud. All right, very good. See, look at that guy down there and directing traffic. Crazy. Hold the door for people and just walk right in, don't even touch it, just say thanks. You're welcome. Hey guys, the reason it's so busy, it's a half off day. So, I actually found a few things here. Got this Con Air removal system. Stop. These are uh, the second to be 35 cents and get about 25 bucks for that. Yu Gi Oh cards, taking a chance at 50 cents. We got one, two of them. Pokemon Platinum official guide. Uh, some cables for 35 cents. RCAs, 35 cents. How do when they put this out? It's going to be 50 cents. It's got a Michelangelo little vehicle in there. And these are some old Fiesta silverware. There's probably at least 20 in there. I've seen lots on eBay go for at least 20, 30 bucks mixed all together like that. So, pay two bucks. See what happens. That's all we got so far, huh? What do you think you're doing, boy? Back up, back up. Uh, uh. Alright, guys, we got two big bags of stuff for like 10 bucks, so hopefully we can make some money, huh? I gotta unlock it first, dude. Me, me. All right, guys, we're gonna go into this uh, Valley Thrift Store here. 
this is I was out in Hamilton, Ohio. I rarely come out this far. But since I picked up uh, them Amiibos, um, just thought maybe I'd stop out there. That didn't go perfect either. Uh, they were, the boxes are pretty messed up, so I told him uh, the price I'd pay for them. I don't like doing that to people because he expected some money, but I couldn't tell in the pictures that the boxes are messed up. So I'll show you them in the recap, but uh, we're gonna go in here and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find something. <laughs> Dreamcast games here guys. We got Sonic Shuffle. Yeah. They want $6.99 on behalf of that's a $25 game. Sonic disgusting. That's not worth it. Fighting for somebody just got that they added a collection. I'll be $250. So that ain't worth it either. What else we got? There's a Oral B electric toothbrush in here. It looks new. I should uh, comp that, it's 40 bucks, plus all these uh, polisher brushes. So, 350. All right, guys, we're gonna go check out this Goodwill, and that's probably gonna be the last stop of the day. It's getting kind of late. Mikey has school tomorrow. And I get to go to jury duty for my fourth or fifth time. Yay! Let's go see what they got. Tasty in the flag. I'm 15, 20, 25. I don't know how much PSP it is. Oh, you can't catch me. Pew, 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 pew. They ain't working for you, pew, pew. I guess it's time to robotic stones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh my baby. Hey guys, gonna show you uh, what I got at the first thrift store. This was at that uh, Valley thrift store. The one where it was uh, absolutely packed because it was a uh, President's Day half off sale. I really like this thrift store because they got a lot of quantity. And you can buy stuff in baggies like this. Like the ones by me don't really do the baggy stuff like this. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like a lot of this stuff they either throw away. I don't know what they do. Like, you just can't find stuff like that there. So it's kind of annoying. But uh, we'll show you all what we picked up there. And uh, see if we can make any money here. I picked up this bag of like, uh, just like, I think there's some sliding door things for the carpet. There's like three of them. Adjustable floor guide for a closet door. Just a bunch of like miscellaneous tools or like uh, little tools and stuff. Stanley shelf supports. I just couldn't pass up all that new stuff right there because it was half off. So it was like 50 cents for all that. Maybe we can lot some of that together and see what happens. Um, I just showed some of this stuff in the store, but here we go with this, uh, Vintage Fiesta, uh, kitchenware. Bunch of knives and forks. Uh, looks like there's some spoons in there. Like I said, uh, it seemed like, uh, lots of these were going for around 30 bucks, so. I got different colors, not just one color, so that's kind of helps. So, we paid two bucks for that. This lot right here, uh, I looked this up. This uh, it's like a proactive uh, cleansing body bar, and uh, I seen one sell for thirty bucks. So last night I put it up for uh, twenty four ninety five free shipping. Sold uh, this morning, so that definitely that pays for this all this stuff plus profit. This bag was three bucks. Um, this stuff's pretty much junk in here. I didn't look it up or nothing. This is like a Bath and Body Works uh, fragrance mist, Paris Amour. Um, these were some uh, Lancome, just like some creams. One of them's been used. One of them look like it hasn't been used, but they're not worth much. 
And then there was an Avon watch here, which I haven't even looked at. It's in there, it's new. They're not worth much, maybe 10 bucks. So, but just that uh, a bar, that's my first bar of soap I've sold. So, 25 bucks for that. Like I said, that pays for all the whole lot, so we're good on the lot. We're already in the profit no matter what. Um, I didn't notice they stapled this, which kind of stinks. This is a Conair hair removal system. I guess you put these on a. These are like replacement pads or something. Yeah, two replacement pads. And that was like 35 cents. These are going for about 20 bucks free shipping. So that was a good pickup there. So let's say like that's 50 bucks. That's 25 bucks. So we're going to make a little bit of money here. I uh, picked up some uh, RCA cables. I need to stock up on these, especially for the summer. Going to be probably picking up some VCRs and combos and stuff. The yard sales, so you can never have enough of those. We got some composite cables too. Component cables, my bad. Like both of them are like 35 cents a piece. Got this Pokemon Platinum strategy guide. That's really not worth a whole lot, but I couldn't leave it there for 50 cents. Like I said, uh, this was 50 cents. It's pretty much junk toys, but the turtles thing. Let me open it real quick. Great camera work. Yeah, I forgot what this is exactly called, but I doubt it's worth much anyways. But maybe I'll give that give that to Mikey or something one day. He loves playing with turtle stuff. He's got a whole bunch of it. And like, why would they even like I guess it's like a Lego bus, I guess, but it was like they ain't even got no wheels. Got a little buzz. You guys want to get a little buzz? Um, it's like a little kind of Lego figure guy. No idea what this is. Goldfish Swim School. And a little Mickey Mouse. No big deal. Like I said, I only bought it for the turtle thing, so 50 cents, I'll take it. Bought a couple of uh, CDs here. They're all in good shape. We got Counting Crows, August, and everything after. We got uh, Stone Temple Pilots, so 12 Graces Melodies. These were like 35 cents a piece. And we got Dido, Life for Rent. And that was uh, 35 cents. Also, in this lot, we picked up uh, some Yu Gi Oh cards. I have not looked at these yet. I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh expert. I know a little bit about them since I've did some research a few months back. These are 99 cents. Well, they ended up being 50 cents. You got two bags of them. They had another bag like this that had like a little bit more cards in it and they wanted $8.99. Make no sense to me. Like I don't know if different people were pricing them or what. But that's all we got from that lot. And we paid uh ten dollars and nine cents total so i'm already in the profit nothing crazy you know it was middle of the day the place was packed they were actually still stocking stuff so got a few things there so we'll see what happens with the rest of that hey guys i went through them Yu-Gi-Oh cards and i pulled out like the foil and hologram ones uh not sure if any of these are worth money but let's see we got threes six 24 of them so that's pretty cool i only paid a dollar that's the rest of the cards there we'll go i'll pan over them i don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh cards i've dealt with them a little bit i've got a big stack of other ones i've got hollows and stuff so maybe you guys want to check them out if any of you guys are into this stuff let me know if you see anything crazy Hey, that one looks pretty cool. Ocean Dragon Lord. That one's cool too. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share those. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I got at another Valley Thrift Store. Um, found some alright stuff. It was at, it was all half off there too. We got this. Uh, these are like uh, 
you put them in wine bottles like those stoppers or whatever there's four of them in here it was $6.99 half off so it was $3.50 I'm gonna open it up show you what they look like these are all brand new these are uh what are they called double happiness chrome bottle stoppers see right there they kind of look neat it's kind of like that's some Chinese wording in there it looks like these are made by Kate Aspen I've seen a sold comp on there for two for $19.99 shipped I got four of them here I think I'm gonna try to do like all four for $29.99 free shipping it should go under a pound if not we'll uh, make adjustments but give it a shot man why not that's what some of the stuff is I'm just giving a shot we got these right here these are wild roses uh, they take batteries and I guess um you could use these it says great for parties concerts dance clubs or decoration something you put on your neck or arm or your wrist or something like a boutonniere there's two of them there they're brand new they're they're old I would assume they're probably from the 90s, but it don't have a date on it. Uh, batteries don't work. See, I just got a thing there to test it. They're not working, so. Got them both for 50 cents. Maybe put them up for $14.99 free shipping. Who knows? I didn't see nothing on eBay about them at all. Picked up this guy. I think a lot of people didn't know this was a Ghostbusters figure. This is a newer figure. His name's Mayhem. Hit the button there, he lights up, so he's kind of cool. He was uh, $4.99, half off. I just couldn't leave it. I collect Ghostbuster stuff. I'll just probably stick that on the shelf. It's not really worth a whole lot of money. We did pick up uh, one CD, Eminem Recovery. Um, that was $0.35. Cents. It was a little scratchy, but... I'll run that through the JFJ Easy Pro and it'll be alright. Uh, they had some Dreamcast games. I've seen like six of them in these baggies like this. This is Fighting Force 2. It was uh, $4.99, so it was half off. Um, the only thing I don't like about these baggies, I can't see if the disc is in there or how scratched up it is. So we're going to see together here. Alright, it's got the right game in it see disc condition now well, look at that scratch the hell up and the scratches are in there this is why i don't like that idea i understand they don't want people to steal the games but uh i can't see what i'm buying for your high prices so here we go we got another one this is actually a good one sonic shuffle that goes for about 25 dollars complete let's see how bad this looks is it, uh, just seeing that game i could assume that all these were pretty scratched up case has got a crack in it wow look at that looks like somebody took their keys to it look at that so hopefully i can clean these up but yeah that's it's basically bullshit the way they do that so they want a premium price for their stuff but they won't let you see what it looks like like yeah you know that's a you know it's a 25 dollar game what was the price on that one i don't even remember i think they wanted like eight bucks for that one but i mean which is a fair price but you don't see what you're buying which i don't like at all all right this is something you guys need to be look out for this is something if it wasn't for matt at part-time pickers i probably wouldn't even look at stuff like this but he's got me in the mode to check all kinds of stuff like this this is like a bunch of oral b stuff brand new we got braces care essentials and we got a power polisher and then there's an electric toothbrush in there this was eight seven ninety nine half off is four bucks we're gonna show you how we're gonna make some money on this deal here i'm hoping this electric toothbrush is sealed which it yeah it's definitely sealed so Oral-B Vitality, I scanned this and this goes for 40 bucks all day long. So we got 40 for that. Yep, and these are sealed too. These Oral-B Brace Care Essentials. Uh, there's one listed on eBay right now for $29.99 free ship. 
And there's a lot of two of them on there for $59.99 free ship. If you want to see there, there's a $59.99 and there's a $29.99. And there's one $29.99 sold. I'm going to come in at $49.99 free shipping. Undercut them. And hopefully sell them. So... And there's these uh, Oral-B power polishers. I'm not sure how good these do. Um, they're not as good, definitely. But uh, we got two, uh, three packs of those. So hopefully we can do all right on that. I would say at least 15 bucks, hopefully, for both of them. So, like I said, I was really happy about that Oral-B score. That should be uh, $100 right there, so. Like I said, I really hate how they do their disc based games. And then they, they overpriced most of their games. Like, and their Blu rays were $5.99 a piece. Just crazy high prices on some things there. It's way out of my way. I only went out there because I did a Facebook deal, which you'll see here in a second. So, turtle out the door there. We spent $17.90. So, I should easily make over 100 bucks. So, that was a good score at that store. Let's see the Facebook pickup here. All right, guys, here's my uh, next pickup. This was off a of Facebook deal. Uh, this was kind of far out in the Tri-County area. So I knew I was going to go out that area about 4 o'clock to pick these up. So I planned my day to where I could go hunting out there. So hit up the thrift stores out that way. That's what you've seen like in the prior couple clips here. So I've seen these Amiibos on there listed for 60 bucks. So I thought it was a good deal. I think he had them on there the week before for like double that price. So uh, I said, yeah, for 60 bucks, I'll take them. They were all Zelda Breath of the Wild Amiibo. And uh, so let's show you what I got here. When I started looking at the Amiibo, when we got there, as you can see, the cards and the packaging is really messed up, which I couldn't tell in the pictures. Because they were kind of foggy. I could tell what the figures were, but like all the card art and the uh, backing on the cardboard's all messed up. We got a uh, link, uh, the 8 bit link, which is cool. So that ain't the Breath of the Wild one, but the rest are. We got a uh, Rider link, so you can see card art's all messed up. So uh, I told him, I said, man, I ain't really happy with this card art. I thought they were in a lot better condition. I don't like doing this one. I like, you know, I like to go pay what I said I was going to pay, but I wasn't expecting this. So I said, uh, could you go a little any lower? And he said, what do you think? And I said, 40 bucks. And he said he was fine with that. He had no use for him. So I don't like doing that at deals, but I wasn't happy with it. I could have just walked away. It was either that or walk away. I did go out of my way for the day, but I don't know. What would you guys done? We got a uh, Archer Link here. You see the card arts and stuff's really bad on that. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna open them all and then sell them in a lot. It'll be easier to ship and not less of a headache explaining all the issues on the cards and taking pictures of it. So we got Zelda from there. And this is the best one, uh, Guardian. This one's actually pretty heavy. I've had this before. I got one in my personal collection, but uh. This goes for about 35 bucks loose. So I'm going to, I paid $40 for them all. I would think I could easily flip that into a hundred dollars opening them all. And that's what I'm probably going to do because it's just going to be easier for me. And, uh, as long as I make some money, I'll double up easily. I might list it a little higher, see if somebody bites, but if not, I'll take a hundred easy. So that's it for that pickup. Uh, show you a couple things i got out of goodwill here we went to a goodwill that was up by the one valley thrift that was pretty far away we got the best of the eagles here i love the eagles but i already have this so this is gonna go to my dad i know he really likes the eagles too and he's still behind in technology he won't get into mp3 world so <laughs> the streaming world or anything so i'm gonna give him that he'll be happy with that and also there I picked up this uh, John Deere Golden Harvest thousand piece puzzle. It's brand new. Paid three bucks for it. 
I'm pretty sure I can get, I know I can get 25 bucks worth plus shipping. So that's going to be an easy list and flip there. And I got, uh, let's see, maybe one more pickup to show you or two pickups. This is going to be just a big haul video of stuff I've gotten at thrifts. Uh, you've seen some clips of it, but uh, I'll get into it here in a second. All right, guys, first show you this Xbox deal. Here's the Amiibo. Like I said, I opened them. If you guys wanted to check them out at all. Pretty cool. So, to open those, we're going to them all together. Get them bad boys on eBay. All right, so right here we got a 500 gigabyte, uh, 500 gigabyte Xbox One. No big deal, right? But uh, I seen this pop up on Facebook while I was on jury duty. I had a little break, and uh, I jumped on it. The only reason I jumped on it, he wanted 80 bucks, right? But it came with this controller. If you don't know what this is, this is the Master Chief Edition controller, and these are highly sought after. Um, the one I have has a broken bumper, and this one seemed to work pretty good. So uh, this game, this controller itself, sells for ninety dollars. If you didn't know that, be out on the lookout for this one. It's pretty easy. It's got the green and the uh, like gold gold uh, D pad and uh, trigger buttons. Some pretty good shape. I'm gonna keep this, but if you're out there hunting and you find one of these, I'd pay upwards of 40 50 dollars for it. I mean, it's gonna be worth it if it's in good condition. But uh, so happy to get another one of these because my other one's broke. I'm a big Halo fan, so I was happy. But that's a bolo for you guys. If you didn't know about that controller, be on the lookout for it. So we got the uh, Xbox One here, it's tested and works. And uh, so that deal right here was for 80 bucks. Um, I got all the cables, I just you don't want to bore you guys with that. He said he had a connect in Skyrim, he'd take another 20 bucks for. Wasn't interested in Skyrim, but uh, I said I'll give you 10 for the connect. So we got the Xbox One connect here, and them sell for about 40 dollars easily. So I'll give 40 back for that. Down the line, I'm going to have to find another console or a, like a cheap black controller to throw with that. So I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Uh, I could sell my controller for parts. I'll probably get an easy 50 bucks on it, but I don't know. I'll probably just keep it. I don't know. But it's an option. So I'm definitely going to come out in a profit with that eventually. But I'm just happy to get that controller again. I'll show you a little St. Vincent de Paul haul. Sorry I don't have a lot of footage for this stuff. This is just like... Didn't have my GoPro or nothing with me, and I was just going in and out real quick. We've got Apocalypse Now Redux, sealed VHS. I could probably get like 10 bucks out of it, paid like 50 cents. Got some PS2 games, most of these discs are in really good condition. We got Bard's Tale, Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness, and these are all complete. Rumble of Roses is probably the best one. Should be able to get a uh, at least fifteen dollars for this. I can't remember. Fifteen to twenty bucks. So that's a good one to look out for. In this Final Fantasy. So that equaled uh, what's that? Six, eight, eight fifty. She gave me twenty five percent off these, which I don't think we're supposed to be twenty five percent off. So it was like six something bucks. Nothing huge pick up there, but not bad. I'm trying to think if I had anything else. Yeah, give me one second. Alright guys, this is going to be a last pickup. I know this video is kind of long, but I'm kind of wanting to show you like what stuff I'm getting and how I'm thinking I'm going to get money on it. And like, just give you an idea. So I went into St. Vincent de Paul today. And uh, it was half off everything except white stickers, okay? So I picked up a uh, Rock Band, Track Pack Classic Rock, and Rock Band 2 for the Wii. These are going to be a future future bundle. We got a uh, NFL Street version three. Uh, the disc was in good shape. I could get fifteen bucks for that. Always look out for NFL Street and NBA Street. They hold a little value. And uh, then when I was checking out, I didn't see this at first, but they had a uh, Guitar Hero three Legends of Rock in the box. I'm not gonna open up the box because it was a pain, but uh, 
It didn't have the game in it, right? But it has two Les Paul guitars in it, which is awesome. It was a uh, $7.99, but it was white tag, so it wasn't half off. So that's pretty good with two guitars. What I'm gonna do is I know I got an extra extra of that game somewhere. And I got a few more games that I can lot up with it. I could easily get over a hundred dollars for that lot. With the two guitars, add a couple games. Make money all day like that, guys. So uh, don't be scared to pick uh, Guitar Hero stuff up. It's worth money. People want it. They don't really make it anymore. No like Guitar Hero, uh, what's that? It's a Rock Band 4 on uh, Xbox One and uh, PS3. That stuff goes for good money. Just a Rock Band 4 disc on uh, PS4 goes for like 30 something dollars. So just a heads up there. Uh, Hope you guys learned something from the video. If you did, let me know. Uh, remember to give a thumbs up. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Peace.